If you can accept it, you will do something that will transform conditions here in Alabama. So I'm not worried this afternoon. I have a it may be. I have a difficulty, it may be. I know that it is true. It's true forever on the sky. Wrong forever on the throne. That's right. That is another part of that great statement. Yet that scaffold sways the future. The mind of him unknown standeth God within the shadow, keeping watch upon his own. William Cullen Bryant is right. Truth crushed the earth will rise again. The Bible is right. You shall reap what you sow. This is an NBC News Hotline special report. Here is Don Hickman in Memphis. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot outside a Memphis motel this afternoon. His condition is not known at this time. Police put out a wanted bulletin for, quote, a young white male, well-dressed, who was seen running from a brick building across the street from the Lorient Hotel. I want to thank God once more for allowing me to be here with you know, several years ago, I was in New York City autographing the first book that I had written. While sitting there autographing books, the minute black woman came up, the only question I heard from her was, you, Martin Luther King, and I was looking down writing, and I said yes. Next minute I felt something beating on my chest. Before I knew it, I had been stabbed by this demented woman. I was rushed to Harlem Hospital. It came out in the New York Times the next morning that if I had merely sneezed, I would have died. I received a visit and a letter that came from a little girl, a young girl who was a student at the White Plains High School. And I looked at that letter, and I'll never forget it. It said, simply, dear Dr. King, I am a ninth grade student at the White Plains High School. She said, while it should not matter, I would like to mention that I'm a white girl. I read in the paper of your misfortune and of your suffering. And I read that if you had sneezed, you would have died. I'm simply writing you to say that I'm so happy that you didn't sneeze. I need you to I want to say fit. tonight, someone please go I want to say tonight that I too am happy that I didn't sneeze because if I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been around here in 1960. And students all over the South started sitting in at lunch house. And I knew that as they were sitting in, they were really standing up for the best in the American dream, taking the whole nation back to those great wells of democracy, which were dug deep by the founding fathers in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. If I had sneezed, I wouldn't have been around in 1962, Negroes in all Bennett, Georgia, decided to straighten their backs up. And whenever men and women straighten their backs up, they are going somewhere because a man can't ride your back unless it is bent. If I had seen... about a dream that I had had. If I had sneezed, I have a dream that one day every day I wouldn't have been down in Selma, Alabama to see the great movement there. If I had sneezed, we've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. Place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I 
just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight, I'm not worried about anything, I'm not